Hi guys, I'm Exact Chaos and welcome back to another episode of Airport CEO. We are continuing the Big Bird International Airport and we have the new baggage claim system up and running and a good old restart is all that required. So what I'll do is I'll quickly just finish off what we've been doing here with a couple of these. Oops, let's make sure to simulate the construction off so that I don't have to worry about um, all kinds of builders and things like that. So we'll go ahead and we'll slot in tons of seating over here for people to wait for their baggage uh, and so on. We obviously need a bit of a bathroom here as well and I'm kind of tempted to squeeze something in the center over here. I'm going to get rid of this. This is closed so it's not actually working anymore. So we'll just go ahead and get rid of all of that. So those bags will just kind of be hanging out over there. This one is not working either. Okay, good stuff. So now let's just um, delete that room and delete that room. Okay. The other piece that people are obviously dying for is some place to eat over here. So I'm going to put a nice big um, restaurant in. Oh, let's, uh, let's just clear off this quickly. And then I'm going to work on the new terminal. Um, I'm not going to mess around with this too much longer. Might be why people weren't getting it there. Um, oh, this looks much better now with our staff zones in place there. Lots of people sitting around. Uh, just before we move on, let's just get a few um, rubbish bins in place here. Okay, so that hopefully we probably need tons of janitors. Let's just quickly have a look at the operation side of things before we move on. Janitors, tons of janitors. So let's just grab a couple more. Uh, no, sorry, not procurement. Staff, add janitors, please. As many as we can. Any others that want to join? Okay, so we've got a few janitors over here to hopefully keep this area clean. Okay, quickly go back and get a bit of a restaurant going on. Just so people are a little happier. Something like that should do the trick. Now um, we need. Can never. Ah, so we need something that's kind of this way around. Okay. And then we need um, tons of these things. So is that kind of what we're going to do? We will add it in like that. So there's a little bit of a, a in enclave for, for, the, for the staff. Um, is that all we can do? We can just do display fridges. And then I'm almost think tempted to do something else as well. No, I think that's okay. Can we do something pretty big? Yeah, we've got enough fridges for something like a cafe aristocrat over here. Okay, that's good stuff. Well, let's let's sign them. Cafe aristocrat, uh, we'll sign that. Good stuff. Enough fridges there. Now let's put some some tables and chairs and things. Food counters. No. Uh, well, we'll add one little food counter over there, and the rest we'll do is um, tables and chairs. Okay, and we'll do some of these. Excellent, hopefully that's sufficient. Oops, I missed one over there. Can we do... We'll do a little bit like this and we'll grab ourselves some chairs for that as well. Hopefully that'll work. People will go and sit there also. Uh, we'll grab a few bins and I'm tempted to do slightly different flooring. Go 
Okay, so hopefully that does pretty decent money's worth over here. Yeah, people are hungry and so they're doing their thing. Oh, we need a bathroom. Let's quickly do a couple of those. Um, uh, the bathrooms over here. So if we say we'll do... Something like this and then something like that as bathrooms. Okay, then we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves. Oops, not that. We're going to go walls. Walls. Oh, please get out. Okay, grab us some doors. Okay, let's see what else we need here. Toilet cubicles. Okay, and some more toilet cubicles over here. Something like that, right? And then this will be female and open and male and open. Good, so people can immediately sort themselves out over here. Let's get some floors going on. Some of this guy, and we'll do that. Excellent. I wanted to do a little bit different flooring here on the... Um, Something like that and kind of something like this maybe. So that we can see those areas. Do one of them over here somewhere. And then the other piece that I wanted to do is let's do a bit of a, a bit of a fancy floor like so over there. Excellent. Now let's uh, get another one of these going. So they can buy some stuff as well. Okay, that looks pretty good. Hopefully that that does the trick for us. For now, at least. Okay, now going towards what we want to do over here. The thing that I'm a little worried about is the fact that we are, uh, but we can rejig and use a lot more of this space. So I am tempted to just make sure that we can get the guys out over here. So let's go over there. Okay, good stuff. So let's see. Let's grab ourselves something like that. And like so. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a ludicrously large spot over there. Nice. Look at that. One and a half million for that terminal situation there. And actually, that might be too much. We probably don't need all of that. Anyway, we're going to need... Okay. We'll go up a level and we will do our 1.6 over there because these are going to be all upper level things. Then we're going to go down a level and I'm pretty tempted to trim back a lot of this. Okay, let's find our, our prime spot in the middle. I'm pretty tempted to trim a lot of this back. So let's trim back. Um, let's say, let's trim back 10 on this side and we'll trim back 10 on this side. Okay. And we'll trim back maybe 20 over here. This is going to be a funky terminal. This will be like a Zaha D type of design. And we'll trim back 20 over there. Look at this. This is going to be an awesome terminal. Now, let's uh, let's make sure to do this. And that. And that. This is going to be a fancy terminal building. Okay, now, if we go underground. Yes, there we can see this little slither. I'm going to do that over there. I'm going to continue this. Yeah, right in the center is where it's going to go, like so, like so. Perfect. So that's how you're going to get from the one side to the other side. 
it's unfortunately going to be a little bit of a walk and since we don't have any walk moving walkways and things like that it's going to be a little tight to get people there in time so i hope we are going to have that sufficient good stuff so this is going to be the terminal and that goes up into a nice big one so there's all of this room that can be used for like vehicles and parking areas and, and things like that which is something that I'm pretty keen that we do uh, not too fond of what we're seeing right over here this one might be stretching a little further um, but anyway that's okay so let's get our <clears throat> A little piece um whether that's realistic or not in the reality what you would have you can have buildings like that but you would have some supporting structures in at least a few spots and we'll see if we need to kind of do that for realism's sake but in the game you don't you of course don't need to do that um so the other thing that i wanted to do was maybe not to run it like that we could run it up there but then i also thought maybe we could find ourselves a little a few spots where we can just run straight from the one to the other side like so and i'm not uh but we won't have any of that so anyway let's leave it like that for now um let's just get ourselves the security areas oh and of course here we can but I'm not sure that's going to be useful to us over there. We'll see what we can do with this space. Anyway, secure area is what I'm after. Let's make this area nice and secure. Okay, good. And the top level here will be nice and secure. And now I'm obviously missing a little section. And now, yep, okay, there we go. Good stuff, and then our little walkway here needs to be secure as well. And all the way over here. Now we'll be able to get us some, some escalators in place here. So if I go with that, where does that go? Ooh, well, that'll actually work. So let's do escalator over there. Can't have that side. Well, we'll see about how we how much we need. Um, I'm going to go with escalators here. Let's do a little something like that, right? So we've got escalators over there. And then what we'll do is we'll do escalators. Like this. and like that so now people can come up straight do that thing and we can have room for a little something on this side also and underneath there we've got room for some stuff so there we go nice big area over here that we can now start getting some gates into so let's go and upgrade and get our jetways in place Okay, and similarly with these guys, let's just get all of these jetways in. And jetways. Now, we will need um, some of these uh, gates, um, but I'm kind of tempted to close them all down just first things first. Let's just close all of this down before we start getting flights scheduled here straight away. Yeah, this little terminal I think is going to be pretty cool. Uh, not security, we want these ones. Um, so this we'll just kind of do like that. Like that, like that, uh, okay, so that's how these are going to work. Okay, the other guys, we're going to do doubles. 
Come on, get that right. So we can hopefully board these a little quicker. And ooh, what I'm also kind of thinking is we probably need, how are we going to do exit channeling? We could channel the exit a little differently to one side, maybe go all the way around. Not sure in this game, the exits doesn't work, but we can do something similar to this. To try and get people to go to the exit quicker. We'll see. Well, that'll be a that'll be an upgrade of the situation. So at the moment, these can kind of open up for business straight away. Let's quickly get our our little taxiway path thing sorted out. Not on this floor. My bad. All the way over there and you will tie in like so this will probably be running around that way okay that's tied up no i don't want that don't really want that to happen but i don't think i'm going to be able to stop that unless i take out that little section up there so we'll have to see about that but these can now all be open for business so now they're ah oh, this is a one way in that direction so they can be routing through there ah uh, unless what i do is i can just trim this uh no i can't do that can't do that because these guys would have to need to run around this way So it is one way. So it is oh, so it is one way. Ah, oh, that will stop it. That will in fact stop it. Nice. So with that set as one way that way, it means they will not route through this way anymore. But I'm assuming its path thing was already done. So now they won't route through that way. They'll route through this way. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's uh, if that's ideal or not. Can we go ahead and open this up for business now? I'm tempted we do it. So let's grab um let's grab some seating. Yeah, with the with the bins there. Excellent. So let's grab that, come over here and say, "Guys, seating please." Like so, so there's a little bit of seating there. More seating and like so. And oh, I love the copy and paste tool. It's really useful. We'll do a similar thing over here then. Man, the copy and paste tool is awesome. Look at that. Look at that. That's brilliant. We need bathrooms and things like that. Um, nice big ones in the center here. But I think that should be sufficient for us to open these up for business. Ooh. What are our stands looking like? So we've got, um, ooh, let's go with the flight schedule first. We've got A, B, and C for the big guys. So this will be the D terminal. Uh, D terminal over here. So this will be, let's say D1. Wow, look at our money situation. My goodness. D2. D3 and D4. Is it cold now? No, it's not cold. D4, please. Thank you. And then will these be... Yeah, let's just make this D3. 
five. D six. Uh, D seven. D eight and D nine. Okay, we also now need to link these up to to some stuff. So baggage bays. This will be the big boys. We will need, um, before we can open this for business, we will need um, the access for the uh, for the service vehicles. Okay, so now this one will go to this side over here. Yeah, service vehicles. Definitely need some service vehicle access. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's get that one in place. Perfect. Now, service vehicles. We can actually use ourselves a little bit of a tunnel situation right here. So let's go and do... Um, well, let's see see what we can what we can get. So let's start with the tunnel to go down, please. Shall we? Let's do two. Let's do one like that. And then we'll do one like that. And they can just join the same road at the bottom. Let's get our service road in place here. Then we go underground. We'll get that service road like so. And we can basically... Run it straight down here. I'm a little worried about it though. So let's start like that and we'll see if that works. But that's kind of okay. What we can do is we can get some parking and stuff for the other guys over here. So now we should be able to open these up for business. They should be connected well enough to be able to do that. Oh, no. The other piece that we're missing is those are now not connected onto, um, onto some of these guys. Oh, I actually don't have any room for that now because I've kind of built a built a franchise in there. Wow, did we clear that one as quickly as that? Well, let's uh, sign another. Why does that happen so quickly? Anyway, it means that I'm going to go and go ahead and expand this operation one more time over here. Thank you. Let's take it all the way to the end there. But I'm not too sure how that's going to work with our um, with our, our our bits and pieces. Oh, so if I do that, gonna want to make sure that we do the secure area properly here. So I'll trim you to secure all the way. We'll go ahead and get ourselves some of these uh, nice carpets. What are the other carpets that we're using? Probably these ones. Nice. Okay, now what I want to do is I need to copy and paste these. A little something like that potentially. Oof. We can squeeze it in over there, but the other one... The other one will not work. Let's see what we can do. Let's do that. Okay, nice. That, I'm happy that that's good. Now let's get ourselves the flooring in there that we want. Well, not necessarily what we want, but kind of what we can do here. Okay, and we want to make these baggage claims. Hmm? Uh, 
Okay, well, let's get rid of these uh, pieces of wall here because that seems to be the problem. Uh, okay, airport, baggage claim. Oh, I missed the spot. There we go, airport, baggage claim. That should be legal. Good stuff. And uh, now I'll put those little sections of wall back again wall little sections of wool that that and that kind of like the way we're doing that now downstairs is a bit of a dilemma though we don't have the ability to okay instead if we go here we can actually get one of them in in there and if we go here hmm we go here yeah so that's a bit of a bummer what's going on upstairs here nothing really like air conditioning but really that baggage claim section there is the one that we want to maneuver to the other ones Ooh, so how are we gonna do that go downstairs uh, we've got this Well, we can certainly give a little bit of a... Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a tilt tray. Whoops. Missed that piece. Give me a tilt tray. Okay, so we do a bit of a tilt tray over there. We're going to go... Oh, again, we've got some stuff happening. We're going to go down. We are going to go up and up somewhere. Uh, okay, coming up uh, right over there. Okay, so we'll do that. Okay, so we'll make use of that. The other side, however, is going to be... Ooh, that's not what I want. Let's get rid of that. We'll rebuild this why is that an issue crazy that that's not going to work for us is it let's uh, see about bringing in something like this instead Oh, that's going to work. So that's okay. We'll sort that one out. <clears throat> but I'm a little worried how we're going to get this guy to work. Everything downstairs is already being utilized. We've got that one in there. So let's just get rid of this. We'll do that. So that should work. We can do tilt tray so we can come up. Well, we want to keep it down down here. We could go down again, but then we can't come back up. That one is going to be a challenge. That one is going to be a big challenge. We need to end this episode and we haven't opened that terminal yet. What are you guys doing here? Why are you hanging out, driving around, getting stuck? Why? Why is that even a thing? Why would you be hanging out over here, guys? Oh, crazy. Let's just do another piece here. <clears throat> There's so many little things that keep breaking all the time. Okay, let's do a little something like that. Nope, we'll tie that in like so. So at least we have another little action. Okay, I think they've kind of found their way now. But there are a few connections that they can be using. Okay, that's better. That is better. Still struggling with where we're going to do this. So let's just go down. We can definitely sort out the one of them. And maybe we'll do that for now. And then I'll kind of 
figure out something in between. Let's do that. So at least we can open these guys up for business. So let's do that. Uh, let's do that. And now this is actually working. Okay, we'll open that up for business. I want some ramp agents working on that one. And then we can go ahead and open up these, these D stands here. Okay, so they'll be open for business straight away. So people can start moving, walking their way through there. We're going to have to revamp this section with some proper, more, more proper security sections through here if we want to continue that working. But yeah, I like it, guys. So if you've enjoyed this, please hit that like button. Um, and I will see you in the next episode where we will continue to open the next terminal, Terminal D over here, or the D concourse. Terminal D, I think, is more, more appropriate. We'll continue to open this up one up uh, let's quickly see if something's been scheduled for the d gates yeah absolutely well, let's just hang on until we see our first flights arrive here uh, just before we get all messed up here let's make sure to set that as one way and be sure to set that as one way okay that should do the trick Okay, I think we've got big planes arriving. So now the big plane arriving over there. I want to see our first plane to come to these stands. Not yet. Almost. Yeah, they're going to come in soon. We're going to have issues with ramp agents being miles and miles away over here. So we do need our our staffing situation to be set up so they're running in that direction that's okay I like it that's better and then they're moving over there man our two-way taxiway system is awesome ramp agents right. oh they're coming people are disembarking ramp agents are making their way over Yeah, ramp agents are around. Okay, but we do need to get a staff room over here. That's the extra planes. Wow, the planes are coming in nicely. We're going to need more tons and tons more vehicles as well. And then we're going to open on this side as well. Oh, look at that. But it is miles and miles for people to walk. Look at that. And then they pop up over here. And then they come down over here. And then only they, they get out. And are they able to go here? So this is pretty tough stuff for for walking passengers. That's if you're if you're in the in the pretty much the C C concourse of Dubai International. <laughs> okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, hit that like button if you've enjoyed it. Join us in the Discord if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.